Hip hop began in the South Bronx in the late 1970s and quickly spread worldwide. Its four elements are DJing, MCing, breaking, and graffiti art. Gangsta rap emerged in the 1990s, followed by subgenres in the 2000s. Today, hip hop is a global cultural force with artists worldwide contributing to its evolution. The original four pillars of hip hop culture remain in the genre's foundation and have evolved into further subcultures with, with lasting legacies. Hip hop emerged in the early 1970s in Bronx, New York City, as a subculture and art movement. development was influenced by post-industrial decline, political discourse, and the changing economy. Urban youth turned to the streets for recreation and self-expression due to the scarcity of economic opportunities and sources of entertainment. Block parties were organized in abandoned buildings and parking lots where DJs and MCs played music on mobile sound systems, break dancers used cardboard sheets as dance floors, and graffiti artists used brick walls as canvases. The new sound of the 80s. Suddenly you hear it everywhere. Rap music. It's all beat and all talk. It tells you a story and makes you want to dance. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon, rapping to the beat. Well, there have been talking blues and things like concertos for drums. But right now, all around us, and so compelling you never miss the fact there's no melody, is a music that is all beat, strong beat, and talk. It's rap music, and it sounds like this. It's about a time not long ago, everybody had on their radio. And then the fella came on with a group in North to put the wiggle in and women and girls and boys. The word got around about... That's the Sugar Hill Gang, whose records have sold millions of copies. The audience for rap music is really growing, and its use has broadened beyond mere entertainment. Here with a report on this new phenomenon is Steve Fox. Steve. Hugh, even though rap music has been discovered by everybody from advertisers to educators to politicians, music from the streets heard on the streets with the advent of portable record and tape players. Rap music began in Harlem and the South Bronx on playgrounds like this one, where people would gather to spin records and then recite their own lyrics, their raps, over the instrumental sections. Now, one of those rappers is 22-year-old Curtis Blow. Yeah, come on now. Brakes on the bus, brakes on the car. The Brakes was Curtis Blow's biggest hit, selling 680,000 copies last year and hitting the top of the rhythm and blues sales charts. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up! Curtis Blow learned how to rap on the streets. He learned how to construct his raps and how to control his crowds as a college student. Come on, you know the song. I learned it in speech. Uh, the greatest orators of all time. Use crowd response. Somebody scream! Break down! Rising young rappers like Curtis Blow may be the newest stars of pop music, but the origins of rap date back hundreds of years. Stories in rhyme have traditionally been common among the black poor in the Deep South. The interaction between black preacher and congregation lies the roots of the call and response form of most rap songs. The scat singing of the jazz greats comes from the same tradition, as does the verbal virtuosity of musical giants like James Brown. Rap's Caribbean counterpart can be found in the reggae rhythms and rhymes of Jamaica. People, what we need to do is to understand each other. The art of rapping was brought to the radio in the 1950s by disc jockeys like Jocko Henderson. He used to say things like, uh, uh, E to the yuck. Ho, this is Jock in the back on the scene with the wrecking machine saying goodbye to do. 
how do you do? If the boastful poetry of Muhammad Ali is in the rap tradition. Ali swings to the left, Ali swings to the right. Look at the kid carry the fight. As was the civil rights rhetoric of the appropriately named black leader H. Rap Brown. Because if America don't come round. In concentration, where have you been around the corner and back again? Inner-city kids learn rhyme talk in their street games. Come on, girl, let's...